day two of doing Mr. London's standing abs workout. Um, yes, yeah, so it's a morning workout. I just finished doing my Pilates. I have to do another Pilates. But yeah, y'all, it's London. Let's get to it. Sorry for the head wrap, y'all. My hair was smelling burnt and like bad hair decisions. So it's condition it is right currently conditioning. <laughs> well, let's get to it.
my tummy was cramping or whatever because it wasn't but it was the arms i'll try to do a, another plank in the day or something oh my god i don't even know what today is i don't even know what today is probably day 68 69 70 i'll look back at my videos and find um it's been quite a few days for me emotionally um, did not want to work out at all. Really didn't. If you could tell in the beginning, I was kind of definitely dragging. I was not putting, you know, my all into it. But by the time I got towards the end of the workout, I did feel better. And I feel like I'm in a better mood. Like, I'm not 100%, but like I was at maybe negative zero. I will say I'm like at 60 now in terms of like my mood. So good improvement um but yeah I think working out does help me feel better emotionally moving my body helps me feel better um so I'm glad I did work out because I wasn't gonna work out today I'm like oh I'll just do in the evening but I know good as well after I do my hair and I try to do YouTube and all that stuff and then have to, to go grocery shopping I probably would not want to work out but I'm glad I did go ahead and work out today. We worked out for what? We did a 15 minute yoga, 15 minute Pilates. We did 10 minute um, upper body. We did 15 minutes Mr. London. So that's about 40 minutes. So that's not bad. At least we did 40 minutes. We did strength training. 
Um, and then we did our stomach planks and then we did our stomach vacuum. Um, just a little tip for you guys, I do try my best to do at least five one minute planks throughout the day. Um, I'm gonna try to bump it up to 10 before, you know, this program's over with. Um, but yeah, so that definitely helps for sure. Stomach vacuums are awesome. Um, my mom always tells me to hold my stomach and I never listen. But then I saw this girl, Christy Line. I think her name is Christy Line. She's not, I wouldn't say she's technically a fitness influ influencer. She's more of a, like a lifestyle influencer. Um, but she's obviously very fit, so she will do workout videos from here, from, you know, here and there. Um, but I'm sure you guys have seen her. She's this beautiful, I don't know, I think she's Liberian. Beautiful Liberian woman who is married and everything, and she cooks, does it all, all while looking very gorgeous. Love her. Um, but she, she, she's not exactly the body type that I'm striving for for myself, per se. But um, I do love the fact that her abs are very flat and everything. Um, so, yeah. So, I learned, I saw something, I saw her doing those stomach vacuums. And when I learned how to do it right, it can be very effective. Like, I remember one time I, tr I did two stomach vacuums, kind of like back to back. And, like, it felt like my tummy was cramping for, like, like for like literally almost 48 hours. So that's when I was like, yeah, there's something to this whole stomach vacuum thing. Um, so definitely do your stomach vacuums. It's really just you holding in your tummy. Um, obviously you do have to breathe, but you're breathing through the whole thing, but you're still keeping your tummy um, sucked in. Um, I will try to see if I can find a crystalline video so you guys can under see exactly how she explained it. Um, so yeah, but yeah, y'all, I will see you guys for lunch. I'm going to go have a shot of lime. Um, I don't have my tea this morning. My dada has to make it for me today. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and have some lemon shots, go try to drink at least four to five bottles of water. Um, but I will see you guys later. Bye.